Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on my signature curls that I love doing whenever I'm feeling a little bit glamorous or, you know, when I just need a little something extra because these curls are definitely extra. So I'm gonna be showing you some tips, some tricks, the products that I use, and if you are looking to create some really nice voluminous curls that last and this video is definitely for you so please keep on watching also feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and like this video i really hope that you will enjoy it so let's just hop into the video all right so the first thing you want to do which i already did is applying a heat protectant so you always always want to go ahead with a heat protectant Never, and I mean ever, use heat on your hair without protecting your hair because heat damage is a real thing and if you don't protect your hair, you're gonna have split ends. You lose a lot of shine also in your hair if your hair is not healthy, so it all starts with protecting your hair. So after your heat protectant, you wanna go ahead with a brush and then you're just gonna brush through your hair you want to make sure that you have no knots whatsoever because you want your hair to be as smooth as possible and then you can always go ahead with a prepping balm or prepping product I generally go with the Gizu um, prep me prime me define me propolis infused polishing primer what I love about this is that it gives like a little bit of texture to your hair so your curls will not fall out as quickly as they would if you don't use a prepping primer for your hair. So I'm using their um, curling wand. This one is uh, a one inch barrel. I'll link it down below for you guys. It's definitely a little bit pricier than your average uh, curler, but this one, honestly, I'm obsessed with it. It comes with the little pink mat, and I have to tell you, it just looks cute. It just looks cute in my bathroom. It looks cute whenever I put it and that's why I bought it. I am very satisfied with how it works. I'm satisfied with the product and I'm satisfied with how pretty it looks. So it's a win-win. So enough talking about um, the products. Next thing you wanna do is obviously section off your hair. I personally like to do it in two and then two at the top. So I'm gonna section for now just like the top part and put my hair up. And then you just want to go ahead with a clip or an elastic, whatever it is, pin your hair up, leave it there, and then take your two parts of hair like that. If you want, you can brush through your hair. And what you're gonna do is take the first piece. I always like to start from the end of my hair, so I work my way down. And so I'm gonna take like pieces that are, I would say, like a one inch, um piece and then you want to take it you want to grab your curling iron and you want to place your curling iron like pretty much at the root but not too much so that you like burn yourself um so you're gonna put it like really as you can see like my root is here and then i like to put it like maybe a little bit down and you want to start by rolling obviously all the way to the end now i know it's very popular a lot of people they kind of leave the end out and it gives you like a more like beachy vibes and to me it's just not the vibe like to me you really have to go all the way down wrap all of your hair and that's what really gives you those glamorous waves that like very like bouncy because if you leave the end out it just looks like your hair is falling down like your curls are falling down and i personally do not like the look of that so i really go all the way down hold it for about 20 seconds now that depends on how thick your hair is mine is pretty thick so i have to hold it for a good 20 seconds or so so then you want to always always hold it um in your hand for about 15 I would say 10 seconds. I like to hold it for 15 seconds again because my hair is a little thicker. And then, now this is optional, but what I like to do when I want my hair to really, like my curls to really be bouncy, I am always going to go ahead with a clip. I have these from that I got from Amazon. I'll link them down below as well. And you just wanna go ahead and pin your hair in place and just leave it like that. So you're gonna just do that, put it in the back and keep going. 
I'm just gonna keep going on this section right here. Now, I know that a lot of people like to alternate between the curls, like the direction of the curls. I personally like to go into one direction just because um, I find that it gives like more of a voluminous effect. Um, one thing that I didn't mention is whenever you are done wrapping, what you want to do is since we left out the um, root of the hair, you want to start by twisting your curling iron and you want to do this very carefully because you might burn yourself and this is why I recommend going with gloves unless like you're really comfortable using a curling iron really go with gloves because this hand has a lot of chances of getting burned so um, anyway so you're gonna twist and then once it's like really at the root of your hair you're gonna again leave it on you're gonna release it pin it in place put it back with the other curl and then we're gonna keep going If you do want like more of a um, natural effect, what I do recommend instead of going like in opposite directions, I recommend alternating between the sizes of the pieces of hair that you take. So for example, you see this one is kind of really small and then the one that I'll take after will be a little bit bigger. And I find that doing this really creates like a lot of dimension in the hair and it looks um, somewhat more natural than just doing like the curls all the same size so alternating between the size of the curls is actually a really good trick um, that I like to do and so you see this one's gonna be like a baby curl and then you want to release it this one will be much bigger than the other one actually this one might be a little bit too big so I'll just remove a little bit yeah this is perfect all right Also, as you can see, I'm holding the barrel with my right hand and holding my hair with my left hand. And I know that a lot of people have difficulty on how to hold the barrel. And so I thought I'd show you. So what you wanna do is obviously take your hair. And then I know that a lot of people think that they can do this, but then what happens is that you're curling your hair like in an upward motion. And then when you release it, it just looks awkward. So you wanna avoid that. What I like to do is just put my hand in the back like that. So you really wanna go ahead and have a support on your head. You wanna just take your curling iron and then you just wanna wrap your hair around the curling iron and then leave it on like that. And then you just wanna start twisting, but you do everything from the back of your head. All right, so I'm done with this section. Um, I'm gonna go ahead do the other section and come back for the top part. Okay, so I'm done with the bottom section. Now I'm gonna move on to the top section, but this is what it looks like from behind. I'm gonna remove my clip and go ahead and separate this part in two. So I'm just gonna take like a comb. Now, while I work on this section, or like this section or whatever, I'm gonna pin this one in place just like that. Sorry, I look like a total mess, but that's okay. So now you're gonna want to take your top pieces. So there's a top piece here, and this one you really wanna be able to go really at the root because you wanna create the maximum volume uh, as you can. And then I like to just do it like that. So as you can see, really go at the root and make sure that everything is under the curling iron so that you really get the heat there. And it's really going to create like a nice little bump, um, which I'll show you when the hair is done. So you wanna do that and then you wanna release it. Release it as close as possible as your root and now be careful because it will be hot but as you can see there's already like a nice little bump and this is what will give you like that really nice voluminous effect so you really want to make sure that you do this step you want to take your uh, clip you really want to go and pin it to your scalp so that it really stays in place kind of like a roller in place and then for the rest of the curls you just want to go ahead and do just as we've been doing uh, normally. So I'm just gonna put you guys on time-lapse for this.
Okay, so I'm finally done. I curled every single piece. This is what it all looks like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wait for the curls to cool down and then we'll be back to style the bangs. And disclaimer, I will be using the Dyson Airwrap to style my bangs. It's the only way that I do it. So I'm really sorry if you don't have it, but I will give you some alternatives, obviously, because we are full of solutions here. Okay, we're back. It's been 10 minutes. We are ready to take these pins down and I'm so excited for you guys to see the result of the curls. I already took one down and this is what it's looking like. It's looking very bouncy. It's giving me bougie, luxurious, fancy curls and I'm loving that. I am living for this. Anyways, so let's go ahead. Ooh, I feel like this is the first time that I see this, but I am I do this every single week. So maybe not every single week because um, it depends, but I do this quite often. Anyways, oh, look at these curls. The holy grail. Keep taking this down, down. Baby, are you down, 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 down? Okay. So this one is the one that will give us the volume, as you can see, taking down all the ones. I think I'll just do this fast forward so you guys don't have to watch me. I mean, it is satisfying though. Okay, now this is what the curls look like. I will not open them. I will leave them as is for now. We will play with them in just a little bit, I promise. Be patient. You really want to trust the process. So while I um, let these babies kind of like fall down a little bit, I will go ahead and style my bangs. If ever you don't have the Dyson Airwrap, no problem. All you have to do is grab a big roller and then apply some heat to the hair, whether it's with a straightener, a curling iron, a blow dryer, whatever it is. And then you just wanna go ahead, roll your hair from the, like from outside to inside. So I like to just go ahead and place it like that and then release it after a few uh, minutes and it'll give you like kind of the same effect as a Dyson. So I'm just gonna go ahead with my Dyson. I have it right here. Clip the rest of your hair back so that you don't mess up with it. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna take my Dyson. So you just wanna turn it on, wrap your hair, hold it for like about 30 seconds, do your cool shot, and you're done. I am removing the pink curls and so this is the before. Once you're done, curling your hair, styling. I feel like this is the part where you can really take your hair game to the next level and it all has to do with how you play with your hair, how you manipulate it, the products that you use. So I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks. So first thing, you always wanna finish off with some kind of oil on your hair. So I'm just using an olive oil based um, oil, hair oil for, for, for this. Taking it, running it through my hair just as such and you gently want to start separating your curls. So you really want to go ahead and do this gently. Do not go rough on your hair um, because the curls are still a little bit fragile. So just running through your hair and Make sure that you put it everywhere, like even on your bangs. And that will automatically add some shine and also kind of like blend your curls all together into one. So the next thing that I really, really recommend doing is always like shake your hair up. Um, it really makes the biggest difference. What you can do is either flip your head you know, like really zhuzh it up a little bit, or you can just do it like I do, which is putting my hair um, all the way to the back like this, and then taking my fingers, obviously, and you just wanna go ahead 
and shake. So you just want to shake. And automatically, immediately after you shake your hair, this is what you get. So it's really all about creating texture in your hair. You really want to go ahead. Don't be afraid to really create some texture. So play with it, pull your hair up, and then really just kind of like give yourself some texture. If you want to help, just go ahead with a texture spray. Um, the one that I love using is this one right here. This is the uh, Bumble and Bumble Thickening Dry it's called a dry spun texture spray. I'll link it down below as well. And I'm not gonna use it because I feel like I don't need it right now. But on the days where I maybe like the third or the fourth day of curling my hair, because I only curl my hair once a week. But when I do notice that my curls are, you know, looking a little bit, I'm not gonna say sad, but you know, they're just like a little less nice. I'm gonna go ahead with a texture spray and it's really going to like revive the curls. So this is what you get. Um, it looks really, really voluminous. Again, just playing with it, and then I'm gonna finish off with a nice little shine spray. So this one is one that my hairdresser actually recommended me. Um, just like that. Like that, and voila! So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And do you see what I mean by the Dyson Airwrap really does it for me for the bangs? Like it just really, really goes and creates all the volume that you like want. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. This will be the back. and that's it hopefully this was a helpful video let me know if you guys have any questions and any comments and if not then i wish you guys a beautiful day and we'll see you soon bye